Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today I give you 10 horror movie recommendations right now on Tubi. So if you're not familiar with the Tubi streaming platform, it's a free streaming service you can download on most devices, but it's completely free with just limited commercial interruptions. And it's very popular with the horror community because it's deep, there's lots of horror content, and it's free and you can't complain about that. So with that, let's get to this list. I'm gonna give you 10 recommendations that are currently, at the time of making this video, available on Tubi. All right, so coming in at number 10 is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. And this is just such a fun little movie, but it's very unique in a lot of ways because it's very funny, for one, but it also has extremely brutal kills and really interesting, quirky ways of killing these people. But it kind of takes the slasher in the woods, Friday the 13th thing, and just flips it on its head. But if you've never seen Tucker and Dale, I know that it has a pretty big following at this point, but some people still haven't seen it. But if you haven't, and you're looking for something to just have fun with, I really think you can't go wrong with this movie. All right, next up at number nine is Tall Man. And strangely enough, I almost never hear anyone talk about this movie. It is definitely different than you're going to expect. For the first chunk of this movie, about the first half or more, you think you're watching this one thing and you think this is what's going to happen. And then right towards the end, it flips and it turns into something totally different. And I think maybe that's what hurt it because it dramatically flips the script at the end. You're thinking you're watching this horror movie and it kind of flips into more of a thriller towards the end and I think maybe that's what hurt it but I still think it's a good movie and especially if you're looking for something that's more of a psychological thriller then I think this is a cool one to check out okay and at number eight is an absolute classic and that's Rosemary's Baby this movie is so legendary because of how groundbreaking it was it was really the beginning of that whole satanic ritual type of horror movie that whole subgenre and when it was doing this, it's just so before its time. I mean, no movie was like this. No movie was doing the kind of horrible, awful, awesome, satanic, crazy shit that this movie was doing. So my way of thinking is, if you're a horror fan and you haven't seen Rosemary's Baby, then I feel like you're missing one of those real groundbreaking early pave stones, you know, the foundation building type of horror movies that isn't talked about to me nearly enough. So I definitely recommend, while you have a chance to watch this for free, check this shit out. Number seven is a horror movie starring Snoop Dogg. Yes, that's right, starring Snoop Dogg, and it's called Bones. And this is a really fun piece as well because it's just different in a lot of ways. This movie just ends up being really interesting because of how serious it does become. And it gets a lot more deep than you're gonna expect it to be. And it deals with some really powerful, deep subjects but it's also just a fun movie in so many different ways with some really great kills and just some cool flashbacks to the 70s, pimp vibe. So it's kind of a horror movie like no other. Number six is another really fun one and that's Wishmaster. And it is silly and cheesy and campy, but it's got its own uniqueness to it as well. It's got that 90s horror which can be really fun or it can be really shitty. To me, this one is more on the fun side and there's just so many guest appearances by so many amazing horror legends like Kane Hodder and Robert England and just so many more but this is just such a blast in my opinion with so many interesting unique horror spins things that's very different having this this gin who's just much different than what you're used to in the horror genre it's just a unique really fun little gem that you should definitely check out and at number five is another movie that's a blast with the driller killer, and that would be Slumber Party Massacre. And this is early in the slasher film era, and it, to me, it's a slasher film that's never gotten the credit it deserves, and the driller killer has never gotten the credit he deserves. Maybe he's not quite Freddy or Jason level, but I feel like he's a lot closer than people give him credit as far as that gap between them. And I just feel like this movie is just so much fun in so many different ways. A lot of people do talk about this, but I still feel like not enough. And I, no matter what, just have always enjoyed this. So I definitely recommend you giving this a look. 
Next up at number four, The Collector. And The Collector is just such a brutal, badass thriller, action, just psychological, physical, just crazy fucking horror movie. And I love this film. Everything from these intense, crazy contraptions that just brutalize people to all the different ways The Collector kills and maims people. It's done in such an intense way, more than almost anything else I can think of. And the sequel is pretty damn good as well. But the original that's on Tubi right now is definitely my favorite. And there's a third movie in the works as well. So if you have never seen The Collector series, I recommend getting started with The Collector that's currently on Tubi. And at number three is another movie that's criminally underrated, and that's the film Frailty, starring Matthew McConaughey. And it's amazing to me, because it has Matthew McConaughey, so you would think, with his star power, this movie would just be talked about so much more. Especially how interesting and unique this film is, it's not like almost really anything else you can think of. And if you've never seen Frailty, definitely check it out. All right, number two is one of my favorite movies of the last decade, and that's The Void. And if you know me, you know that I love me some cosmic horror and Lovecraftian stuff. And to me, this is probably the best of that genre that we've seen from anyone in like the last 10 years. There's just so many things about this movie that I just did a review on Color Out of Space. And this movie is right there in that same category. If you like that movie, I feel like you will definitely like The Void. It's got a lot of goriness, a lot of just grossness, but also just some really fun outer space sci-fi horror elements. But I cannot rave about this movie enough. I just love it. it. That simple design, but that's just so clean and well done. All right, and then the last one on my list would be Terrifier. And at this point, everybody's talking about Art the Clown, but the reason it's on this list is because I just want to remind everyone out there that Terrifier 2 comes out this year. That's right, in 2021. So now's your chance to give it a rewatch before the second one comes out. And it's free right now on Tubi. But if you haven't seen it, you definitely got to check this film out because it is the horror buzz. Just a fun, great little movie that has one of the best up-and-coming slasher killers we've seen in a very long time, Art the Clown. And it's just such a great little film. It doesn't do a lot, but it just has some really great kills that are just legendary now. And Art the Clown is just a very fun, very charismatic killer that's really unique and different than anyone else in the horror world. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the list. Please hit that subscribe button and ding the little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel and when I post videos like this. And I post videos like this at least twice every week. And I also want to give a big thank you to all my patrons. You guys seriously give me energy all the time. And if you would like to find out more about becoming a patron, the link is down in the description. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, horror can be fun. I will see you guys next time.